Hi everyone! Today I've brought a very simple project which is a scratch and win project. I'm sure you know what that is. Uh, well, by itself it's not a very useful uh, application but it's something you can include in other projects that you have. For example, in the escape room that I made long ago, you have the tutorial in, the, in my channel. So feel free to find it and, and try it. Or in other things that, that come to your mind. I know you are very creative. So if you are ready, let's get started. All right, first of all, I'm going to add uh, an extension which is going to be the pen. I'm going to briefly tell you uh, how the pen works. Basically, uh, well, every sprite has the ability to paint on the screen. So, um, look, when the pen is down, it means that the pen is touching the state or the piece of paper, if you understand it better. So, if I move the pen down and I move the pen, in this case I've moved, uh, I move the sprite to the right, I'm going to draw a line. I'm gonna uh, set pen size to 10 so that you see it clearly, more clearly. And as you see, as the cat moves, as the pen is down, it paints on the state. If the pen is up, the cat moves, but it doesn't paint on the state. So I'm going to erase all. Uh, this is the basic functioning. So we're going to create a simulation of a drawing uh, application in which when, when mouse is down, so when I, when I click and I drag, I can paint on the screen. And when I move the mouse uh, without pressing anything, I do not paint anything. So um, that's very simple. First of all, we're going to say that forever. We can use the cat or you can use any object. It's not going to be visible on the screen later, so that's not important. Go to mouse pointer. So as you see, the cat follows my mouse pointer forever. And by using an if else block, we're going to say that if mouse is down, so if I'm pressing, my pen is going to be down. Else, pen up. And by doing this, that's gonna work. Important, uh, if you try this program here, Scratch uh, assumes that you are in the addition mode, so you want to move the cat and not try the program. So to try this, go to full screen mode, and you will see that you can easily paint. If I stop uh, pressing the, the mouse, I can move the cat and it doesn't paint, okay? Uh, obviously you can hide the cat and that works the same way sorry green flag and now we don't even need to go to the full screen mode because as the cat is not here we can do this very easily so this is the first part of the of the program i'm gonna add this block here so that whenever i click on green flag i erase all and our scratch and wing or scratch card is gonna be created this way there's gonna be a message here, which is gonna be another sprite, an object that I'm gonna paint here. I'm gonna write it in one color, for example, purple. And the color of the background is gonna be exactly the same as the color of the message. So the message is gonna be invisible until we paint and change the color of the background. Um, I'm gonna show it to you in case you haven't understood what, I, what I'm saying. Let's write something like this. Um, con congratulations. You won a plane ticket to Mexico. Well, let me move this here and this here. And I'm gonna select a different uh, font. That one looks better. Okay, let's make it larger, let's enter it, and let's send it to zero, zero. Here it is. Let's call it message, and the cat is gonna be pen, because it's basically the sprite I'm using to, to paint. So now let's go to backdrops, uh, and on this backdrop, 
I'm going to zoom out. We take the square and we're going to use the same color, okay, the same purple. Color 72, saturation 60, brightness 100, which is the same I've used here. And now the message is invisible, but the message is here. So it's simple. Let's go here. I'm going to set pen color to white, for example, and I'm going to set pen size to 40. And that's finished. If I paint, as you see, when I paint over here, I'm revealing the message. Revealing the message, sorry. When I click green flag, it hides again. Well, actually it doesn't hide, but um, I remove the, the white paint, so it's not visible anymore. Obviously this happens because uh, I'm painting on the background, but this message is in the front, so I'm not painting over that message. I'm gonna give you another idea, uh, which is gonna be the following. When the message is completely revealed, something is gonna happen. For example, I'm gonna show here a taco, which is something typical from Mexico. Uh, when is the message completely revealed? When this object, this sprite, is not touching the purple color of the background. So, how do I express that in Scratch language? Well, it's simple. My message, uh, when green flag clicked, is forever be checking if it is not touching purple color. If it is not touching, uh, sorry, purple color. To select this purple, well, you can select exactly here the, the numbers or by using this, you select purple and you have it, 72, 60, 100. When this happens, we're gonna broadcast a message. It can be called message one, that's, I mean, irrelevant, or it can be called taco. So let's look for a taco here. It should be right there, taco. Let's place it here. Our taco, when green flag clicked, is gonna be hidden, obviously, and when it receives the message taco, it shows. So let's hide it and let's try. I'm gonna reveal the message completely. And the taco uh, instantly appears. All right, something to keep in mind. Imagine you want the taco to have an animation, the typical animation that the taco is very small and it, it looks like that it's uh, coming towards us. Uh, which is this, set size to zero, and we're gonna repeat 20 times, change size by five, so it's gonna grow little by little. I'm creating this, look at it. Okay, so um, what happens? If I try my game now, the taco doesn't grow. Why? Because um, here, uh, this is constantly constantly checking uh, if it is not touching purple color. As, is, as, as it is not touching purple color right now, it is constantly broadcasting this message. Taco is constantly receiving that message, which is restarting again and again, so it doesn't have time to, to do this part. What should I do? Well, after this is broadcasted, I should stop this. So, stop this script and now it should work I'm gonna tell you later why that happened here we have it okay it is true that when I click on green flag as at that moment the tag um, the sorry the message is not touching purple it broadcasts the message again and the taco appears so I should uh, start this like 0 0.1 seconds later then uh, the cat has erased the, the white thing and now when clicking on green flag 
it doesn't appear and now when I reveal my message the taco comes all right so well this is the scratch card or the scratch and win uh, project I hope you liked it I hope you have you are creative and creative enough to implement it in other projects that you have for example in the escape room that I made long ago as I said and I'll see you next time see you soon guys bye bye